Hello, I'm Steve Warren from Avalites Media, and here we're showing the Sapphire Visual Control System. We believe the Sapphire Visual Control System to be a significant step forward in the integration of video and lighting control. The control system itself comprises three significant components. The core, the heart, being the lighting console, the Sapphire Touch. We have introduced the Sapphire Fader Wing, which increases your fader live access to cues, cue stacks, effects. And what we're showing this year is the Sapphire Media Wing. The Media Wing, we believe, demonstrates a genuinely new style of thinking. Previously, we could control media servers from the lighting desk using ArtNet control. And although this worked efficiently and afforded the user the access to all of the features and parameters of the media server, what the user didn't get was the native operating environment of the media server, i.e. they controlled the media server as if it was a lighting fixture, accessing each one of the parameters individually but not having access to the native UI of the media server itself. The significant difference here is we've brought AI's user interface right out where it's needed, where the lighting operator and designer can access the specific features of the media server right where he needs it, at his control position, front of house, from his lighting console. So, as you can see, we have a not traditional, but let's say, okay, maybe I could take it from there. Okay, yep, no, I saw one. Okay, so we'll cut at the last bit and we'll say, as you can see, on the lighting console, we can select groups of lights, we can apply palettes and record cues. The, but when we look at the media wing, what you see is the media server's native operating environment with what we call the AI media server's unique project-based workflow. So why project-based workflow? What's that? Well, when you're setting up a project, each project is different. Um, whether you're approaching a lighting task or whether you're approaching a video task. Now for the video task, we've looked at the flow, the workflow that the designer is going to have to tackle and made sure that we offer the right features for each stage of the production. So rather than offering just a menu of all the features all the time, when you're in a construction page, you're only offered the tools that you need for constructing your video setup. When you're in the playback page, you're offered time code and different triggering methods. When you're in your media select page, you're offered the features that you need to trim, color, manipulate, or apply effects to your media thereby giving you the best of both worlds. You get ArtNet triggering from your lighting console, so your queuing is bang on every time. And from, but in the programming stage, you're able to access each of the features specifically designed for the media server. And we feel that this is a very clear industry first. We're looking forward to showing it to you on a one-to-one -one basis at Avalites or here at Plaza. Thank you very much.